Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Stan Laurel and Mr. Oliver Hardy. Stan and Ollie is about Laurel and Hardy. These two old friends who just happen to be the most famous comedy duo who have ever lived. <laughs> The beautiful thing about the story was, is you go inside of their relationship and we try to capture like what happened to create that magic. It's about friendship and love between two men. It'll make people laugh and it'll make people cry. <laughs> Here's another nice mess you've got me into. Stan Ollie starts in 1937 Hollywood at the height of fame and they're the biggest movie stars in town at that point. And we fast forward to 1953 and it's about them going on their last live British tour. It's been 16 years since they were at their peak. They haven't made a decent Laurel and Hardy film for a long time. It was tough for them. They started doing these theatrical tours. Uh, by, out of necessity, they, they, they were broke and they needed to make some money. I am lonesome for you. We were very lucky because we got our number one choices in both roles. Steve was the first person and the only person I met about it and John C. Reilly the same. I thought it would be a, a difficult, because it's quite a hard thing to pull off because they're these two iconic figures who are so well known and well loved. Uh, it's a big responsibility. Steve and I realized from the very beginning, well, there's no way to do this unless I really love you. And so we learned to love each other. Now he's a very good friend of mine, and that's what we hoped would happen, and he hoped would happen. We, And it's tough making a film like that. You hold each other's hand. That was a bit like Stan and Ollie, and they toured together. So there's a symbiosis between the story and our actual experience. Do we really need that trunk? So the whole process of making Steve and John into Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy was a long one, you know, particularly getting Hardy, right, because there was a lot more prosthetic involved for John. There was the fat suit that had to be made, the facial stuff, there was contact lenses, there was wig. I mean, John spent three hours in makeup every day. It was unbelievable. Steve's process was probably slightly easier. He needed little things, like he said, he needed to flatten down his chin, some teeth, the ears to get pinned forward. It really helped because I'd look in the mirror and uh, see someone different. It gives you a clue, it gives you a little window. You think, oh, I think I know who that is behind that look, because I look at myself and I thought what I saw was very different from me. When they first walked out, it was kind of like a teary moment. All the crew were there and everybody just started applauding because it was just incredible. It would have been nice to say hello to my husband without immediately being pressed into one of your skits. We were lucky enough to work with Shirley Henderson and Nina Ariander. Nina plays Stan's wife and Shirley plays Ollie's wife. And they come along and they're their own sort of duo too. I worked my entire life to get where I am. Well, hey, I had a job. Yeah, poo poo, script lady. Oh, well, how's your acting career these days? No. Yes. The reason why we, we didn't want to do a, a sort of relatively conventional biopic was we wanted to create something which new and old audiences could enjoy. Lauren Hardy have huge fans around the world. They show that there's something timeless about certain kinds of comedy. The reason they stand the test of time is because they were utterly unique. It's a very universal story. It's about love, it's about friendship, you know. It's about relationships, you know. And if you've got a heart, you're gonna love this film. If you're a bit of a softie, you're gonna love this film.